just off to meet my friend Rachel in South Kensington. My fellow tinfoil twin, as Stuart calls us. Because we have a penchant for silver jackets. I really hope she's wearing one today. I just bought this actually from uh, Zara. And I fucking love it. It's just like a windbreaker. I know you can't see it particularly well, but it's like a hooded, asymmetric windbreaker. Anyway, Rachel and I are off to the Sartre Gallery this afternoon to see the street art exhibition, the name of which I cannot remember because I have the worst memory, but I'm hoping that I can try and film a little bit of it. It's like a mega exhibition which has taken over the whole of the whole three floors of the Sartre Gallery. And I'm very excited to see it. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just filming you. Great. You look fabulous. Thank you, so do you. Oh. <laughs> I was just umming and ahhing whether you would be wearing tin foil. Uh, no, I've got tin. Okay. Jealous.
Can I have a bit more welly on me, Mike? More welly, okay. That's bacon head for volume. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Fat. Yes. He said it's called Oops, There Goes. Oh no, it's not called Oops, There Goes Mike. What the fuck is it called? <laughs> What's it say on that letter, Beta? Have a look. <laughs> Am I the right spot here? For continuity? I'll still be half pissed this Saturday night watching it. <laughs> Study with a tit hanging out, nobody'd flinch. <laughs> I'm gonna say that again. Ah! <laughs> I've, st <laughs> I've stood on a packed 88. I go by limo these days. <laughs> Did he know what a bus is? <laughs> There's a bus strike on. Big fucking deal. <laughs> Our commuters getting to work. Couldn't give a shit. <laughs> One kick and it fall in. I mean, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you two all right in the couch? Hey, <laughs> was I to wet a belch? Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Do you know what that is? It's the muck food they sell in here. I'm telling you. Show stoppers should be called shit stoppers more like it. Oh, I just wanted to share those clips. Um, waking up today to the news that Paul O'Grady died overnight. Really sad. It's really upset me today. I spent most of the morning watching tributes on um, YouTube and funny clips, outtakes mainly from some of the shows that he did as Lily Savage, really sad. I think um, it's really affected me, I think, because I think he was, he was really a pioneer for sort of drag and, you know, he was at the vanguard of gay rights and, um, you know, presenting, an image of working class people at that time and I think um, you know it's easy to forget these days that having somebody like Lily Savage on TV on a Saturday night on primetime TV that was it was a political and social statement really and you know I don't think you can underestimate how that sort of changed people's perception of gay people and I think it's such a loss. I think, you know, he's so closely associated with the Royal Vauxhall Tavern which is just across the road from me and it's obviously somewhere where we had the meat party for about five years and and it's somewhere that I hold in a great deal of reverence because of People like Lily and Regina Fong, who sadly died a lot of years ago now. And when when I used to go to the RVT to to promote the party, to have the party, you couldn't help but feel the spirit of these people in the building and in the dressing room. They were sort of sewn into the very fabric of that building and and it was always something that made me incredibly proud to be a part of in my own way with meat um yeah and i just feel really sad um i watched a brilliant um tribute from the actress sally lindsay just now on sky news it's on youtube and if you're interested you should look it up and she was asked about the fact that camilla the queen consort had, who he'd become quite friendly with through his professional dealings with her and Battersea Dogs and Cats Home, which again is just down the road from me. And and she, the news uh, anchor asked Sally Lindsay what he would have thought about the Queen Consort paying tribute to him. And Sally Lindsay immediately clapped back and said, there'll be a lot of queens today paying tribute. And to Paul, she would just be another one of them. And I think that was such a perfect example of who I guess he was as a person and um, yeah it's, I just think it's so sad I think gone way too soon and it, like I say it was such an important 
person within my community but also equally as important to everybody that used to love watching him on TV and yeah just incredibly sad really sad um, it's really upset me actually uh, I think he was one of the greats and uh, like I joked to my friend Matt Lake this morning on the phone and um, he'll be up there with Scylla and Babs now having a glass of champagne I hope yeah so yeah um, I filmed again I've been rubbish this week I haven't filmed anything the last thing I filmed was my visit to Beyond the Streets London at the Sartre Gallery with my friend Rachel which I hope you watched a little bit of it was a fairly comprehensive walkthrough of the exhibition but I had a really great time seeing the exhibition and, and filming little bits for the vlog and um, I just wanted to share that for anybody that can't get to see it for whatever reason and I have to say like a lot of major exhibitions in London at the moment they're super expensive and really you know um, becoming quite out of reach of a lot of people including me actually I basically uh, piggybacked on <laughs> on my friend Rachel's uh, student discount to get in because yeah it's £25 which I think is a lot of money and I read a thing actually on the BBC last week about um, attractions in London particularly but all over the country that are really still feeling the effects of Covid and the pandemic and the lockdowns and, and are not really I think the term they used was that they were suffering from long Covid because they're still not back to capacity and tickets are really hard to sell and I'm kind of a little bit like, especially in the cost of living crisis which we are at the moment, um, make the tickets a little bit cheaper, you know, get more people through the doors. I think £25 to see an exhibition is kind of outrageous, it was brilliant it will have cost a great deal of money to put it on and um you know i don't i don't underestimate that at all but it's it just seems like too expensive but anyway um i really enjoyed it having said all that and i'm gonna get off my sort box i've had like a strange week this week and been quite busy with work doing some um doing some uh, jobs basically for the money <laughs> uh, basically I will not refuse a job I'll take any job and I had a difficult um, experience last week which which actually I've rectified this week and it's a lot better but I've had yeah I had a funny weekend I was not feeling particularly on good form and um, I'm trying this week to um, you know pull my bootstraps up and be a bit more northern about things and just get on with it and I'm and I've done lots of work this week that has made me really happy I've got a new meat book which I'm launching tomorrow which is kind of unexpected because it's a project I've been working on that was going to be a magazine but I've actually decided to produce it as a book so that's really exciting it's the second meat book in two years that I've self-funded and self-published and I'm really excited to see if it's gonna work and to see what people think about it and um, so that's something that I've been doing a lot of work on this week so um, I've been yeah trying to get back on track um, after uh, a bumpy few days really but uh, yeah that's where we are I'm gonna leave this kind of itty bitty vlog for this week and um, I'm sorry about that but hopefully next week we can do something a bit more interesting again but um, yeah I just wanted to sort of share a few garbled thoughts about dear Paul O'Grady who's died I think um, yeah it's just it's a sad day really um, somebody who 
I saw live many times in lots of smoky clubs and at lots of gay pride events and yeah just somebody who was always kind of there to entertain us and I think it's I think it's a real shame but um yeah um I will catch you on the next one Was dead and it was Oh fucking do we <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I'm an actress. I can't fucking waking up there and there, get myself going, and you sweep on and say we're not effing well ready. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I bet Elaine Page wouldn't fucking tolerate it. So. <laughs>